Hello everyone, and welcome to Resident Evil 3. Or I guess welcome back. Uh, oh, the elevator went down. We have just passed through this weird facility thing. I don't know what this is. I guess an umbrella testing facility? Or a storage facility? I don't know. Also, what the fuck is that thing? Fucking naked looking thing. Actually, you know what? Is that the thing from uh, Resident Evil 2 in the DLC? I think it might be. Alright. Anyway, we're approaching the end of the game, seemingly. And, uh, huh? I don't know what to do. Oh, I guess I probably interact with the giant glowy thing. Oh, okay. Unfinished activity log. Infiltrated RC distribution. R Infiltrate RC distributions. Uh, dis disturbances. Fucking hell. Our sporadic commencing mission. Observe five RPD officers engaging a pack 20 strong. Officers annihilated in 20 minutes. Uh, test run at university. Diverted pack K9s to campus. 64% infection and conversion in two hours. No survivors. Successful rendezvous with MV platoon. We'll make first attempt at dawn. Diverted pack toward command post. Result night skirmish in confined area with a large number of combatants. Video attached. End of skirmish. Seven survivors. Unknown bioweapon deployed at point D18. Tracking it per orders. It appears to be on the hunt. Got eyes on two stars. A male infected and female. Bioweapon is pursuing the female. Ah, oh, there we go. Female Jill Valentine has made contact with MV Platoon. Bioweapons appearance and behavior are consistent with Project Nemesis investigating. <coughs> Observe bioweapon wielding. <coughs> Jesus, my throat. Uh, wielding conventional weapons. It seems to be strongly fixated on terminating Jill Valentine. And knows the city layout evidence can be imprinted. Metamorphosis in a bioweapon triggered by a hostile encounter with Jill Valentine. Video attached. Jill Valentine has been infected and is not responsive. Collected samples per orders. Nikolai is writing this, isn't he? Over 17 hours have elapsed since Jill Valentine's exposure to virus. Conversion has been slow, suggesting she may be resistant. Vaccine recovered to and administered to Jill Valentine by... Uh, Carlos, a soldier in Mc McIsle's platoon, Jill Valentine expected to be fit for combat in approximately 20 hours post-exposure. It seems clear the bioweapon is Project Nemesis. Contact with Jill Valentine causes it to change and evolve. We'll induce further encounters to obtain more precise data. You're bitten, aren't you? And probably Nikolai with Carlos. Oh, uh, the Resident Evil movie taught me a lot about these hallways. We're about to get sliced. Come on, run, Jill. You dare attack me. <clears throat> oh, dear God.
Oh god! <laughs> Fucking Resident Evil 4! Jesus Christ. <clears throat> All right. Hi. <clears throat> the pursuer. Yeah, this is very different from the original now. <laughs> Nest 2. Oh boy, employee regulations. Attention Nest 2 employees. The objectives of the... Ow! Oh, fuck, I just hit my tailbone. <laughs> the objectives of this T-Virus research facility differ from those of Umbrella's main Nest facility. Here we focus on real-world use cases which arise as new bioweapons are created and introduced, such as the need for T-Virus vaccines and new weaponry capable of suppressing bioweapons. Some aspects of our work here can be dangerous, so it is imperative that all employees adhere to workplace regulations without fail. In particular, unauthorized entry by unapproved visitors or the removal of work-related data or materials will be met with severe disciplinary measures. It is a great honor to be a part of the finest research organization in the world. Keep this in mind and stick to the rules as we forge new and revolutionary technologies. Oh boy. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, this is all very new to Resident Evil 3. <laughs> Save again. Yes. Okay, hopefully I can find a red herb now. Ah, uh, oh, sad, I could have made more magnum ammo. Fuck it. there or okay I can't go in there yet so I gotta go up here all right and the original uh, after the clock tower uh, you go to a graveyard to fight the gravedigger hi you're alive and then once you kill the gravedigger you end up at a sewer treatment plant sort of thing and uh, you confront Nemesis there and I think there's like a small part of it that has an umbrella lab in it but not much ow you fuck okay I cannot die please be a red herb Isaac, great. I don't recognize that name. The pay was generous, the benefits were good, and most importantly, they promised me I'd be contributing to state-of-the-art medical tech research. Free university teachers stuck working in nowhere. America, it was a golden opportunity. Like winning the lottery, sorry. Uh, so I went for it, I made the pitch to my family, and we agreed to move to Raccoon City. Well, hindsight is 2020 because his lab is a den of monsters who conduct cruel and barbaric experiments for the sole purpose of taking human life in the most sickening way possible. It's messed up. The world needs to know, but every time I work up enough courage to blow the whistle, I think of Penny and Cassie and immediately chicken out. 
Umbrella owns this town. There was this guy they caught trying to smuggle out company secrets. They essentially fed him to one of the betas. Fed him. I saw the whole thing. I got my wife and daughter into this. I just need to do my job. Do as I'm told for their sake. But let this be a testament that I do have conscience and that I've learned my lesson. I really need a red herb. Okay, I can make more mag ammo with that. <coughs> Essay on vaccine synthesis. Oh, Dr. Nathaniel Bard. To most efficiently synthesize a vaccine, both in antigen and adjuvant, <laughs> are required. The antigen produces an immune response, while the adjuvant increases the, effect, the effects of such responses, leading to increased antibody production. By combining samples of these two ingredients, we can create a potent vaccine base. By processing this vaccine base with our uh, proprietary equipment, a large batch of vaccine can be created with astonishing ease. What's more, my latest antigen and uh, juvent samples yield unprecedented, uh, unprecedented rates of antibody production, producing more than 1,000 times the yield of uh, traditional materials. This not only makes it an effective vaccine, but also a potential way to eliminate existing infections. If only we had that now. Part of me is wanting to say just heal with the herb, but I don't know. I think this uh, thing, can't think of the name, uh, flash drive will allow me to go into down here. So I'm going to do that quickly. I'm going to put my shotgun just to be safe. <coughs> Is that literally the whole point of that? Huh. Alright. Oh dear fucking Christ. My lord, those things are fucking everywhere. Oh, 
fuck. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. It works well enough. It's happened. Our worst case scenario, the T-Virus has somehow leaked under orders from Dr. Bard um, to manufacture mass quantities of the vaccine. I've prepared a culture of the T-Virus antigen. Now I just need to combine it with a uh, juvent to enhance its effects. And I should be able to produce enough vaccine to save all the surviving citizens. Excuse me. Oh man. The adjuvant samples are stored in the incubation lab. Test subjects are already wandering the halls. But I better find a way to get some samples while the culture is maturing. If I don't make it back, please complete the synthesis process. Try to find a way to stop the outbreak. It's the least we can do after setting these horrifying events in motion. Damn, all right, whatever, fine. I need room, I'm not going to do that. So it seems to be on the second floor. Oh yeah, right there, incubation lab. Go. Yay. Yes, please. Okay. I am okay with that. I am really hurting for health. Oh my Jesus Christ. whole ton of hunters and failed tyrants, whatever the fuck that thing is. Jesus. Well, all right then. That's only mildly terrifying. <clears throat> huh. 
I would have fully expected there to be a Mr. Charlie on that. <clears throat> I didn't even see you. Oh, damn it. Damn it! Damn it! Oh, let me move! I got one. Fuck off. Please allow me to send my heartfelt congratulations to you and your colleagues at Umbrella Europe for completing Nemesis, a truly remarkable achievement in the field of bioweapons research. Introducing a parasitic organism into a tyrant's brain to gain external control of it? How can I not marvel at such a wild idea? However, from a medical perspective, I must uh, emphatically state my disapproval, my disapproval of the shift away from established Umbrella policy. By turning to the use of parasites, you are setting a dangerous precedent. Viruses can be kept in check. I believe an effective vaccine can be developed for any virus on Earth. With abundant funding and a bounty of samples, of course. Can you say the same for parasites, however? Doctors have tried in vain to develop a vaccine for malaria. Parasites like plasmodium are far more genetic, uh, genetically complex than the T-virus, and to think they will submit to control is, utterly f is utter folly. Perhaps in your country, consumers are willing to buy automobiles with no brakes, but here in America, they know better. Then again, I recall you have a degree in economics, so no doubt you've already devised a brilliant marketing strategy to win over the uh, naysayers. I look forward to your talk at the forum in Berlin next month. In the meantime, I shall be exploring medical solutions to this hubristic problem you've foisted on us. Sincerely, Nathaniel Bard. So, it looks like you can kill those things, they just take a hell of a lot of firepower to kill. <clears throat> oh, God! Okay, that is, uh, not what I expected at all. Oh my god damn it. Oh, okay, fucking hunters. Jesus. Oh, hello there. What are you? Acid rounds. Okay, I'll take it. Well. All right. Here we go. 
go. What? Huh. Uh. Okay, I guess I'm gonna do this first. Damn it. Alright, fine. Well, before I continue on with this, I'm going to end this episode here. So, if you want to check out the unedited version of Let's Play, that'll be in the description below. If you want to keep watching the edited version, that'll also be in the description. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.